Garth Brooks says he isn't keeping any beers off his tap list when it comes to what he'll serve at his new bar backslash dash backslash and that apparently includes Bud Light, despite the backlash. In a recent interview with Billboard, the country singer alluded to having the embattled Anheuser-Busch brand featured in his soon-to-be opened Friends in Low Places Bar and Honky Tonk in Nashville backslash dash backslash, which is gonna be on the famed Broadway strip there in downtown. They were talking about the kind of vibe Garth wants to foster their backslash dash backslash and how he'll, perhaps, differentiate himself slash his establishment from other honky tonks their backslash dash backslash and he said one thing they'll do to stand out is by serving beer that every kind of person can enjoy. Here's the full quote. I know this sounds corny, I want it to be the Chick-fil-A of honky tonks. I want it to be a place you feel safe in. I want it to be a place where you feel like there are manners and people like one another. GB goes on to add, and yes, we're going to serve every brand of beer. We just are. It's not our decision to make. Our thing is this, if you, are let, into this house, love one another. If you're an A asterisk asterisk hole, there are plenty of other places on Lower Broadway. Of course, Garth didn't mention Bud Light or Dylan Mulvaney by name. But it's obvious what he was referring to. Bottom line here is, the dude's gonna have Bud ready to pour Garth's embrace of Bud Light is getting some flack from conservatives, who are accusing him of going woke and capitulating to left-wing viewpoints. There are even some who are vowing to boycott his bar and take their dollar elsewhere backslash dash backslash, including Kid Rock's place. Remember, KR took an extreme stance on the controversy backslash dash backslash shooting up boxes of Bud Light with an AR-15 rifle.